Hello, and welcome back to the Fearless Culture channel. Today, we will dive into a topic that has become a buzzword, psychological safety. And like all buzzwords, it's full of misconceptions. Psychological safety is the sheer belief that the team is safe for taking interpersonal risks. It's a powerful concept. Most people focus more on feeling safe than on personal risks. Overemphasizing safety creates a bubble. This psychological safety bubble can backfire, leading to a culture of fear and anxiety. Psychological safety doesn't mean shielding your team from potential storms. This brings us to a concept called safety, like trying to wrap your team in bubble wrap, stifles growth and innovation. Safetyism is like a boat that never leaves the harbor. Your team must learn how to navigate through storms. The second misconception is considering psychological safety as the end goal. Client asked me to help them build a psychological safety culture, but the point is, for what? Psychological safety is not the end destination. The goal is to improve how your team works. The psychological safety ladder illustrates the impact. It's a progression. Each level represents a desired outcome. So instead of focusing solely on feeling safe, your team should aim for outcomes like belonging, courageous conversations, and innovation. This matrix shows why friction is not only necessary, but critical. Backlash and apathy are the results of unsafe cultures. However, safety alone is not enough. A safe culture in which people avoid conflict drives to groupthink mediocre ideas. The ideal quadrant is that of courageous conversations. Because your team cannot have healthy debates if they avoid friction. The only way to improve creativity and decisions is to make sure that people feel safe to voice their ideas. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Continue the conversation by reading my latest article. Find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Let's burst the psychological safety bubble together.